John said, we've come this Sunday, this Remembrance Sunday, to remember those who gave their lives in past conflicts. As we come to the 75th anniversary of the Second World War, it's right and proper in days like today that we remember those who never returned. And although this has been a difficult year, I think perhaps more now than ever, it's important to remember the cost and the sacrifice that was paid. I'd just like to read John chapter 15 and verse 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. It's good to have friends. In a world of division, it's good to have friends. I know we think back to those times when, when friends left to go to war. Brothers, school friends, people who lived in the same street in the same town all went off to war. Yet many of them never returned. Many of those who did return would say, would talk of their friends who they seen fallen. We think of those families who waited for word of their, for their, for their, their loved ones who never returned home. And it's on days like today we remember the cost. You know, we think of, as Jesus says, you're my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. And we think of the love, the love to lay down your life for your friend. And that's exactly what happened. That was a sacrifice that was made. But we think also over in Romans chapter 5, where Jesus says that he gave his life not for his friends, but for his enemies. That once we were enemies of God, yet the love of God, the greatest, the greatest sacrifice, the greatest cost that was paid was that we might be saved. That we might know and be able to say this morning that Jesus is our friend. So I'll just have a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you this Remembrance Sunday. Oh Lord God, for those who gave their lives in different conflicts, that we might have the liberty and the freedoms that we enjoy today. That we may have the religious freedom, Lord, to come into the house of God this Sunday morning. And oh Lord God, as we remember, as we think of the terrible cost, oh Lord God, when we think of the numbers, oh Lord God, they're incredible numbers, but each one of those was a person, was, was a somebody, was a brother, was an uncle, was a father, was a son who never returned home. And oh Lord, we thank you this day for the cost that was paid for our freedoms. Lord, we also thank you this day for the cost that you've paid for your friends, for us this morning who can say that God is our friend and that we've been saved. So we thank you, Lord, this day on this remembrance, this Remembrance Sunday, that we can remember and we can give thanks. Oh, Lord God, for the sacrifice that we made for this country and for the sacrifice that you made for your people. Amen. I'll just read more. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. If you wouldn't mind standing just for silence. <laughs>
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave earth today. Thank you. Maybe.